A lot of people try to find like who can they become so that they can be like have their own identity, but it's really just being yourself. My name is Diego Av. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm a music producer. When I first was working a lot with Rico Love, a lot of my sounds and my melodies was something that like kind of was derived from his sound. You know, that's what happens when you collab with people. So at first it was like, you know, a lot of melodic R&B stuff with uh, working with Rico. And then I started working with Scott Storch a lot for a few years. And I kind of started picking up the way he does his melodies. So I kind of started taking from that and making, applying that to my sound already. And then now I'm in an era in my life where I'm kind of taking everything I've, I've learned from all these different, you know, hit making producers and I've created my own sound now. And I'm, I stand by it and I'm, I'm real proud of it. So I actually started on FL Studio. That was my first doll. And you know, of course you gotta try everything else and see what else is out there. So I literally went through every single doll from Pro Tools, Logic, Cubase, I tried everything. And I ended up coming right back because I could not get my 808s and my drums to hit like I could on FL. With FL Key, it's easier for me to get my ideas out. So instead of sitting there and like clicking all these melodies or instead of having a, to jump back and forth between patterns and sounds, I can just do it in the click of a button while my hands are still on the keyboard. So as I'm doing a melody, I could switch to a different sound into a different part without having to lose my hands on the keyboard, you know, and that's like vital to me. So I really need FO keys. Once I first started using it, I don't want to make beats without it. So like you could take any idea like that, and just tweak it right after. Fly that over, even out the velocity. Just start arranging it, start taking out sections from it. And you can just keep going back and forth on the keyboard to here, like adding layers. And it's kind of like, it's very on the fly. So if you're working with an artist or a writer directly, and they're kind of waiting for you to come up with an idea, you just throw it out, put it in there, have them record it, and you could tweak it later. And I could even build off of this part too, add some more layers. And the dope thing about uh, using FL keys is that you can actually toggle using the channel rack. Or it's like a channel rack button. You go up and down, it kind of toggles between all your tracks. You don't have to sit there and click everything. You can kind of stay focused on the keyboard, the FL keys, and then jump back on here. So it's like you're in two different worlds. So my favorite feature on FL keys is actually the note repeat. So it reminds me of like how I used to make beats on an MPC and trigger like the samples and the snare rolls and stuff. So for me, this fact that it's like such a small, small keyboard that I could just bring around everywhere and I could still use the note repeat like an MPC, I think that's the sickest part that uh, FL keys has. Yeah, so the whole idea is just to get everything out real quick and with FL keys, I feel like it gives you the advantage to just put everything in your head onto FL Studio. Now I can toggle between sounds. We got, we got three sections. That's more than enough to put an idea out. You could bounce it and get started and start working on the record. Three things to me that make a great beat. One is space. I think people underestimate how important space is. And number two would be sound selection. If you're gonna have all that space, you need to find the perfect sound that can sit on its own and not have any support behind it. And third, I say your mix. People underestimate how important having a solid mix is. So just with the space, the sound selection, the mix, you have, to me, a perfect beat. <laughs> 